Hello, here is your upper body and core workout using mini bands. So I've got like a light mini band today, just because some of the exercises will need some nice range of motion. But of course you can grab a few and you can chop and change as we go. The format of this workout, we're gonna be doing six Tabatas. A Tabata is a hit format where we're gonna work 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, times eight. So we're gonna do four minutes of work for each circuit. Each of those will just have one exercise um, and then we'll rest about 30 seconds and we'll go on to the next exercise. The 10 seconds goes fairly quickly. So it's a nice little transition or just a little relaxation for the arms. So we'll start with a warm up. We'll finish with a little cool down, but let's do it. So let's start on all fours. And we're just gonna start with some cat cows just to get that spine moving and the shoulders a bit warm before we get going. So just inhaling in one direction, exhaling in the other, nice and slow here. Just moving through these mini band workouts are really good, especially for the upper body. Well, just really nice to add some tension to the exercises. Let's go for one more. And back. So take the back of the right palm to the back of the forehead, to the front of the forehead, and we're going to bring elbow to wrist and then open out. So just waking up that mid back area, having the hand on the back of the head just really encourages the movement to come from the waist, not the waist, from the back, rotating and not the arm just going back and forth. Rotate under, let's do one more. Open and let's switch sides. So we're going down and open. Nice way to open up that mid back. Let's do two more, rotate and open. Right arm's getting a bit of work and open. Let's just bring the hands down, tuck the toes. I'm just going to push back and forwards. So I'm pushing back into a child's pose and bringing my knees up, waking up the shoulders a bit more. Let's do one more here and then peel up into a down dog. Let's just pedal through the legs a second. Keep the knees bent as much as you need to to get into the shoulders. I'm just pedaling through. I'm just going to reach towards the opposite leg. So find a little twist again, waking up the shoulders more. And let's do that going from a plank and reach back. Plank and reach back. One more to the other side. Bring the knees down. We're just going to wake up the body from side to side a little bit so you can find a nice seated position. We're just going to bring one arm up and just reach to one side. And let's go to the other side. Reaching up and over. Find a nice stretch in the oh, side of the body so it should feel quite nice. One more each way. Reach. Little press. Last one, press, and then we're just gonna take the arms up and then bring the back of the shoulder blades together. So think reach and then pull elbows to ribs. Create some resistance with your arms. Let's go for two more. One more. I'm just gonna circle the arms now. Alternating, just bring one arm back and then the other, waking up the arms again. But the shoulder in this socket, that upper back area, one more to each side. And ooh, feels good, relax the arms. We're gonna get going. So I'm gonna start the timer and the first exercise we're gonna do, so we're gonna have the mini band around our wrists. We're gonna do chest to floor push up, and then just a little side step, side step with the hands, one on each side. 
You can do this on or off your knees, but band stays on the wrist the whole time. So we're gonna go in three, two, one. So let's go all the way down to the mat. Push up, little step with the hand, little step with the hand. So with these, we might not get loads of push-ups done. So we need to focus on being nice and stable. Step, step, and rest. 10 seconds to rest, we've got round two. Take a little breather. Okay, so two, one, let's do it. Slow and steady to the ground. Push up, step with the arm, bring it back. Step with the arm, bring it back. Down, push. So you're nice doing push ups when you break them down into like, and rest. Ooh. I'm getting in two each time. So that's what, two times eight is, <laughs> two times eight, we'll do 16 push ups. Here we go. Down, pushing up, step, step. I want to focus on trying to keep the hips nice and steady. Six more seconds, two, one, rest. Breathe, okay, round three. So we're going in five seconds. Keep that tension on that band. And here we go, down. Pushing up, step, step, down. So it's almost as if we're staying in like this planking position for like the four minutes. Two, one, rest. What's good with, with Tabata sometimes is to be like, okay, how many can I get in? Let's go, two, one, in those 20 seconds and try to keep to it the whole time. Gives you something to aim for. Step, step, down, and up. Step, step, down. Ooh, I fit an extra one in. And rest, okay. So I can put an extra push up in, I realized. So I'm gonna go for three push ups in my next one. We're going in three, two, down. Push, step, step. We're only doing push ups once as well. Down, push, step, step, down. Push, and rest. Ooh, how many rounds have we got left? We got two more rounds. Okay, we're going in three, two, one. Let's do it. You can also never seem to count. Step, step, keep going. Down, push, step, step, down. Push, step, rest. Okay, we're on to our last round. We're on to our last round. Okay, going in three, two, one. Let's do it. Push, step, step, down, push, I think this will be my last push up, push, and rest, okay, take that band off, pop it around, pop it around the ankles for our next move. So our next move, we're gonna be in a forearm plank. You can do this on your knees. If you're on your knees, just pop the band on your thighs instead. I'm gonna step side to side, like we did with the hands, but with the feet this time. We're gonna stay in that forearm plank. Okay, we're going in three, two, one. Okay, let's get into our forearm planks. Step, step, slow and steady. Five, four, three, two, and a rest. Relax the hands. I feel my mat like creeping along. I'm gonna probably end up in the bookshelf. We're gonna go in three, two, 
Let's go. Step. Just moving my legs side to side. Slow and steady. Five more seconds. Two, one, and rest. Really take that rest because four minutes works quite a lot in this plank. So take the time, relax the shoulders. We're going in. Two, one, step, step. Also, always be prepared because I take my eyes off the timer. Step, step. Five more seconds. Three, two, and rest. Good, okay. Five seconds, we're going again. In three, two, one, step. Slow and steady, no rushing here. <sighs> Try to keep those hips level. <sighs> Five, three, two, one, rest. Come off the arms, take a rest. We're gonna go again. I might shuffle this mat up a little bit. Three, two, one, let's go. Step, we're over halfway now. Remember it's 20 seconds of work. We can do this, we're flying through. Three, two, and rest. We've got three more, three more rounds to go. Okay, we're going in three, two, one, step. Slow and steady, slow and steady. Keep those elbows under those shoulders. This is a shouldery start to the workout. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Woo! It really builds, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, so we've got two more rounds to go. We're going in three, two, we're off, stepping. You'll be pleased to hear this is, I think, the last plank. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah. I don't mean the last, in, I mean the last in the workout, not the last round. This is our last round coming up in two, one. Let's go. Step. Slow, steady. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Okay, band off. We're gonna be on our bums for the next one. I'm gonna grab my water. Scoozy. Okay, we've got a little 20 seconds rest, so it's 30 seconds between. That sweet, sweet extra 20 seconds. We're gonna be on our bums to help grip the band, because we're gonna be rowing to the side with the band. Okay, and off we go. So let's sit up, and we're gonna row and twist Centre, so my other arm is staying nice and tall. I'm rowing, bringing it back, coming back up. Row, row, the further back you go, the harder it is. Rest, if you want more challenge, you can bring the legs up and row in a little balance, in a little boat position. Three, two, one, row, up. So this is where, if you had a slightly heavier band, you could grab it for your rows. So I'm twisting into that row. Two, one, rest, relax the arms. Okay, we're going in fun. I'm gonna move the timer so I can see it without turning. Three, two, one, let's row. Up, and row and twist and control it. Control it. And 
and I'm pulling my opposite arm away. So the, the front, both arms are under tension, rest the whole time. So as I'm rowing, my other arm's staying straight and pulling that band away. Three, two, one. And up. <laughs> got um, hair in my mouth. Row. And up. Five more seconds. And a rest. Have a rest, rest the legs. We're going in five, three, two, one. Roll through and pull. Five more seconds here. Three, two, one, rest. With the bands, I find it's like just keeping that sustained tension and your muscles eventually like, oh, oh. three, two, one, let's go. Up, row, and up. A little lean back, and up. Pulling on that band, pulse, resist. I always make myself laugh. It's like resist the band, resist the resistance band. Two, one, rest. Okay, I have to check the timer. We've got two more rounds to go. Even though it says a number, I'm still like, what does it mean? Six out of eight. Go. Row. And up. And row. Think elbow to ribs, like we did in that warm up. Elbow. To ribs. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Last round. Last round. In three, two, one. And back and forwards. Back, forwards. 20 seconds. We can do this. Final five, four, three, two, rest. Okay, <sighs> resting, have a sip of water. We're gonna be doing a little dead bug situation with our band. So let's take our band to our arches. Boop. I'm gonna have tension on that band and we're gonna be pushing it out and in. Now we can have the option, you can bring the head up the whole time, or you can keep the head down. Or you can give me classic, I just push out, we're gonna push out and twist, that's what we're up to. So you can be here, as you push out, you're gonna rotate up and twist. And down. And down. If it's helpful, you can reach the outside of the opposite leg as you go, rest. Options should just do the legs. We can add the twist holding the head or you can add the twist with the reach. So let's go, two, one. So up, reach. So I'm straightening that leg out. Keeping that tension. Three, two, rest. Resting there. Fix my top. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. So you can come up, rotate and reach. You can keep that head up the whole time if you want extra. I'm gonna try to do that. So keeping the head up as I rotate, holding on with my hand and rest. Woo. A little spicy variation that I added there. <laughs> Three, two, one. So I'm rotating, center. Rotating, center. Center. Remember you could keep the head down if it's too much having the head up the whole time. Three, two, one, and rest. 
So this one's a bit more corey rather than army. Two, one. But if you're holding your head up, that head, that head, heads are heavy, man. Center, center, center. Five more seconds. Wherever you are, last one and rest. Ah, oh, this is nice. I can feel like the slow control of the core. We're going in three, two, one, coming up, which is a really nice feeling. Sometimes you do core exercises and it's like, I can't really feel it working, but with these slow, steady ones, you can really feel it, just keeping that control going. Again, this is where you might pick up a slightly heavier band because the legs are nice and strong. Rest, how many more we got? So we got two more with the head. Let's get ready. Crunching up and let's do it. Twist, center. And again, if you like, you can stay up the whole time in this movement. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay. Last round, and then we're moving on. Woohoo! Okay, so going in three seconds, let's get the hands behind the head, bring the legs up, coming up, and let's twist and center. Twist and center. 10 seconds here. Final five, three, two, one and roll down. Okay, you can get that band and come up to seated. And I'll show you our next move. So we're gonna have the band around the wrists and we're gonna be opening and closing this band to add some tension on those arms as we go back. Now, if your hips hurt when you're sat, just grab a couple blocks or a cushion and sit on it. It really helps take the tension off the hips. But we're gonna go and I'll give you some options to level up this movement as well. So let's start sitting nice and tall. Hands out, let's roll down, open the band, bring it up, down, and back up, relaxing the arms. This is our first option. So we add the tension when we lean back and bring it back up and relax. So we roll, tension, lift, lower, rest. I'll give another option. Option two. Option two, we're gonna keep the tension on the arms the whole time. So let's go. Get that tension, let's roll back, lift, lower, up. Now, the further back you go, the harder it'll be. I'm just bringing those arms sort of up to where my ears are, because if I go any further, I'm just gonna fall. And you're gonna arch the back, two, one, and rest. Option three, we're gonna keep the tension and we're gonna hold back the whole time and just lift and lower. Okay, get that tension, come back, lift, lower. Now, <laughs> full, full disclosure for the second time, the, 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 um, the timer, the, the, the camera is being um, a bit naughty and stopped filming, rest. Each time in that last Tabata movement in the, with the dead bugs, so apologies for any choppy like editing, let's go. Um, but I'm trying my best guys, I'm trying my best. My arms are killing me. <laughs> my arms are like, stop giving these options. <laughs> Good, so I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it again with holding the lean back. Now I don't mind, we've got three seconds and come up. I don't mind which option you choose as long as you're challenging yourself and you've got some tension on the band. Keep those wrists nice and strong. Two, one, let's lean back, wrist strong. So the arms are like shooting up to the scene. I don't know if ever anyone remembers that. Well, surely we do, that Terminator 2 movie with a guy whose arms were like This is the kind of energy positively we're trying to convey. Two, one, up again. Ooh, relax the arms at the top. I sure need it. <laughs> two, two, one, let's go. Whatever option, 
We're lifting and lowering, keeping the body as still as we can as we go. Lift, lower. I'm giving more attention to the camera this time because I want this filmed for you guys. Rest, Woo. have a rest, relax the arms. And we're gonna go again in three seconds. That 10 seconds goes super quick, but we've got one more after this. And let's go. Whether you're opening and closing, coming back up like so, or you're keeping that tension the whole time like so, or you're holding back and just lifting and lowering wherever you're at. I just want you to challenge yourself. Two, one, up. Woo! How many more rounds we got left? One more round, one more round. Okay, let's do it, let's do it. And three, two, one, roll back, tension. I'm gonna challenge myself even more by rolling through my pelvis a little bit. So I get a bit lower. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Oh, rest the arms. Oh my gosh. Ah. Uh, okay. So next up, we're gonna do some side plank with a little row. We're gonna do four times on one side, then four times on the other. So positioning wise, I have my hand like anchoring down the um, band with on one side and the other side I'm gripping it so I can row it. So we can be here, I'll show option with the knee down and you twist and row, or we're gonna come, we're going, let's do it, come into your plank and then you row. So we're off and rotate back with control. Rowing up, down with control. It's our last to bottom. We're just doing four times on each side. Two, one more for luck, and back to centre, rest. Okay, second time on this side, we're going in three, two, one. Rolling over, so I've got my feet staggered when I turn, so I'm coming on the outside of my back foot and the inside of my front foot, so it's just like a little rotation. Five seconds. And rest. Two more on this side, and then we're moving on. In three, two, one, let's do it. Rotate, and back. I haven't done mini band workouts in a really long time, and I really don't know why, because they are so effective, especially if you do extra tabatas in between, um, but, Two and rest. Last time on this side, I'm gonna move the mat a little bit and I'm just gonna go that way so you don't have to look at my bottom. Three, two, one, let's go. And down. Down. 10 seconds. Five, four, one more, one more. And quick transition, I'm gonna to go to the other side. So I'm now gripping in my other hand. Plant the other one down, and here we go. Twist, and down. So it takes a little moment to like engage with how we're holding that band. There we go. Four, three, two, and the rest. Whew. Whew. Five seconds. Last bit, last bit. Here we go. And row. And down. Row. Two more times on this side. Three, two, one. Rest, woo, last two, last two, last two. Five seconds, 40 seconds left of work. Let's do it, three, two, one. And out. 10 seconds. 
final five. Three, two, breaths. Last, last set. And we're done. We're almost there. <laughs> Three, two, one. Let's go. Twist, pull, down. Five more seconds. Row three, two, and oh, rest. I got it right, I counted right. Move that timer to, to the other way. I'm gonna move my mat just so I'm a little bit more central. And let's just come into a little child's pose. Stretch the arms forward and have a breath. Really good work. It really gets your shoulders, those, those bands, those small sort of stabilization muscles. <sighs> Come up to all fours. Let's thread the needle. So let's bring the right hand through. We're gonna come all the way down to the cheek, stretching out the front arm. Have a breath. <sighs> Lovely breathing. Pushing through the left hand, let's do the other side. It's coming underneath. Reach the other arm forward. Breathe. Relax. Relax the shoulder. Relax the chest. Come back through centre. I'm just going to come to seated. Let's stretch the arm side to side like we did at the beginning. So let's bring one arm down. We're just going to bring one arm up and reach up and over. We're gonna to rotate to look down towards the floor. Nice little stretch for that upper back and back. Let's do the other side, reaching up and over. Rotate down, back up. Let's do one more to each side. Reach, back, last one to the other side. Up and over, stretch. Come back to the start. Let's interlace the hands behind the body and just stretch out the chest and the upper back, just reaching the arms. I'm interlacing the fingers and just reaching them backwards. Taking a breath, you can roll the neck here as well. And let's bring the arms forward and do the same. Making like a big, as if you're hugging a big balloon. Bring the arms up, swim them round. Roll the neck in one direction and the other. And that there was your lovely, lovely core and upper body Tabata with a mini band. Smashed it.